Hey guys, a long time no see. I know it has been forever and a freaking day since my last video and I apologize for that. For those of you who have not watched my last couple of videos and don't follow me on like any other social media outlets, you probably have no idea where I've been or why I've been gone for so long. Um, so I was working uh, hair and makeup on the musical Legally Blonde. Uh, not this week, but a couple weeks ago for like a couple weeks. I was in the theater almost every single day for a couple weeks. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. So, um, I was incredibly busy during th 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 throughout that whole time. It was just really hectic. I also got really sick right before Tech Week started, and I had a fever, and I was just dying. I felt like death, literal death. And then I got sick again at the very end of the run of the show. It, it was just bad all around. I needed time to like get myself together before I was gonna start doing this again. Also, yesterday was my birthday, which isn't, it's not that exciting. I turned 23, which is a horrible age. It's an absolute horrible age. There's nothing fun or exciting about being 23, let me tell you right now. I mean, not, not, not to ruin your hopes and dreams, but it's not glamorous. So there's that. I did vlog all yesterday for my birthday, but I was thinking about it and I was like, what did I even vlog? It's literally me buying or eating and or eating a bunch of food like the entire day, mainly by myself for most of the day because everyone else was at work and I was just here buying food and eating food and then we went to dinner which is just eating more food and then we went to a bakery which is just getting more food. That's all I did yesterday. Just food. Food and more food. So that might go up on my other channel. I haven't quite decided. I haven't watched any of the footage yet either. So look out for that, maybe. I don't know. Also, on this channel, we hit 25,000 subscribers. <laughs> We've actually quite exceeded 25,000. So that is crazy and I don't even, whoa, my voice cracked. That's how crazy it is. I don't even know what to say about that, but thank you guys so much for subscribing and hello to all the new subscribers. Um, I apologize for the really inconsistent channel going on here, but I promise you it'll get better. No, I'm not going to promise you. I'm going to attempt to promise you that it'll get better. I'm not sure yet. I do have some videos that I want to get done um, in the near future. I have already filmed a, a current updated skincare routine. It's not really a routine video, it's mainly just my favorite skincare products, kind of. Anyway, I haven't edited, edited, did, 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 did. it has not been edited yet, so I will do that. Also, I plan to do it a full drugstore tutorial, like a full face of all drugstore products. Um, I'm just waiting to get one product for that video, and then I should be set. And I also want to do another lookbook. I just haven't quite decided what theme or style I guess I want to do for that. So if you have any requests for a lookbook, feel free to shout them out because I will take those into consideration. Other than that, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it for, for updates and just stuff in general. I know I haven't done a video on my other channel in a very, very, very long time, so I'm very sorry about that because I know a lot of you came from that channel, but I, I will get on that. Maybe. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the haul. All right, first up, I went to Forever 21. Nothing super exciting. I just got this plain white t-shirt, which is, again, not that exciting. But what I liked about this one in particular is the fact that it is very flowy and a bit longer, but also that it has a lower cut scoop neckline here. What I wanted one of these for specifically is that I have a lot of bralettes that um, have some detail in the front that I would like to show off, but like not really show off, like very subtly do it. So something like this that has a lower neckline will kind of give like a peak of it, but not be like, oh my god, it's so scandalous. Yeah, okay. This shirt is a small and it was 880. And the other thing I picked up from Forever 21 is just this pair of earrings. And if you've been in Forever 21 lately, I'm sure you've noticed that everything jewelry is like coachella -fied. It's like all bohemian and festival inspired. It's kind of crazy. So these are, I guess these are like fancy Coachella because they have these little rhinestones in them. But they're these really cool post back earrings that have these, I think they're like faux stones. They're probably just glass or plastic. And then it has this like metal fringe at the bottom, which is kind of cool and will show a lot of movement. So. Those were $4.90. Next up, I placed an online order with The Body Shop a while back and I just haven't gotten around to picking up my package. This is the Glazed Apple Eau de Toilette and I have purchased one of these before and I love it. It was, I think it was in a favorites video 
video or I talked about it somewhere and it smells like nerds. <laughs> just It smells like candy and I feel like some people won't like it but the reason I had to get another one of these is because it was one of the holiday um, 2014 limited edition scents and what I've discovered is that they don't often bring back those scents and so I was like well I love it a lot and I do I, I want to keep it around so I picked up another one. The other thing I got is just a little bottle of tea tree oil which um, is really popular in the skincare world. I've never tried it though and it just gets really raved about so I wanted to give it a try. I haven't had a reason to use it yet um, so if my skin decides to break out anytime soon I will try this on it because I'm very intrigued by it. Next up I did go to Urban Outfitters and I just love the fact that they give these like nicer bags. It's very exciting. So they not they yes they what they had an extra 30% off all of their sale items so I decided to check it out and by the way I did see Cinderella which <laughs> I'll tell you why that came up I saw Cinderella and then I went to Urban Outfitters so that's that was my train of thought there okay anyone who watched it side note did anybody else think that there were a lot of people with weird teeth in that movie like the prince had abnormally straight teeth also Helena Bonham Carter was she wearing like veneers or something because her teeth looked really sketch and then Cinderella's teeth were like really large for her mouth I was just really like confused by all their teeth <laughs> anyway that was not off topic at all back to Urban Outfitters I got this shirt it is actually a men's shirt and I don't even know what this style is called because it's not really tribal it's kind of got like this I want to say like Baja like California kind of style that is that right I feel like that's no, that's probably wrong. But it kind of has like this sunset sort of color scheme going on here that I like. And it's very, very soft. I got this for $15 down from $50, so it was a very good deal. All right, next up I went to Cotton On and I got a few things for really, really inexpensive. That didn't make sense grammatically, but whatever. I got this bikini top from their body collection, and this is a size extra small, and I got it for only $8, which I thought was really good. I also got these two little, I guess, cosmetic bags, you could call them. And I got these specifically because, I don't think I've mentioned, but my family is going to Hawaii in June, and I need a new makeup bag because my other one is very old and the zipper is broken, so I figured I could use one of those for that, and the other one just to throw in my beach bag, maybe put, like, um, some travel sunscreen, um, my phone, headphones, stuff like that in here and throw that in my beach bag or something like that. And these were each only $5 and I really like the neon zippers because I love neon. Neon is my thing. Next up I have another bikini and this one I'm very excited about. So the swimwear brand To Die For contacted me and let me pick out one of their bikinis. They have a neoprene collection which is what I picked from but they also have several other kinds. And they have this really pretty lace collection. That was like my second choice but I actually haven't tried neoprene before. If you guys are familiar with Triangle, I'm sure you know what this is about. It's basically made out of um, wetsuit material, so it's thicker, and it just has a very different feel from regular swimsuits. But I did get their Bluebell bikini in the, from the neoprene collection, and I love this. I love it so much. I'm sold on the whole neoprene thing. So the top fits me perfectly, absolutely perfectly. There's nothing I would change about the top. The bottom does fit me a little bit weird um, in the sense that it is both big and small for me, which probably doesn't make any sense. It fits big because I don't have a butt, so it's a little bit like there's just a little extra room in the back. But it's small in the sense that it cuts really low both in the front and the back. I don't know if I have like a weird shaped body or something, but it's just, I don't know. I really just don't know. But I love how it feels and I can still make it work. It's not like I can't wear it or anything. I've definitely worn it. So I love it. I love it. I will definitely link their website below because it is just, you guys should check them out. It's really cool. Lastly, I have some She Inside items for you guys again. So uh, I mentioned Hawaii because I kind of picked out these things with Hawaii in mind. I got three white items because once I'm tanner, it'll be very flattering. So I got this top, I actually wore it yesterday for my birthday, but it's really cool because it's very, very adjustable in the sense that you tie the back yourself. So this whole thing, it could be entirely loose. And what you do is you just stick it through these little holes here in the back and then tie it however tight or loose you want it to be. So it's essentially backless and it has just like this flap of fabric in the back right there but it's really really flattering and flowy and very pretty 
Next up, I got this shirt dress, and this is a very risky business. I didn't think it was gonna look very risky business on the website, but then on me, I was like, I am Tom Cruise. That, like, literally Tom Cruise. So this is what it looks like. It just has a collar at the top. It doesn't have buttons or anything. It just has a V-neck opening right there. And then it has, I guess, this slight high-low. Actually, it is pretty high-low on the bottom. And then I cut the sleeves because I feel like that's more flattering. But again, this will be a nice thing to throw over a bathing suit or over some shorts or something. Last for white items, I got this skirt that I have worn on Instagram if you haven't seen it or want to see how it looks on me. It is like the American Apparel skirt. I'm sure you guys have seen it um, if you are at all familiar with American Apparel stuff. And what is weird, guys, I'm not complaining, I just find this very interesting, is that there is an American Apparel tag in here. So, I will leave that up to you as to how you want to interpret that. But it fits me really well. I will say, so just based on the reviews, I decided to go a size up. This is a medium, um, and it fits me like really well. It is just slightly loose around the waist, um, but I wanted to get a medium because everyone said to size up. Lastly, if you guys are familiar with Free People, I'm sure you guys have seen this tunic, and it looks like this. Again, guys, remember that I have Hawaii on the brain. And so I got this like very tropical sort of tunic and it, you can wear it closed like this so it has like a keyhole opening or I'll probably just wear it open like this. But it also has these like cinched um, sleeves that kind of come to a belt but then also have more elastic at the end sleeve or whatever it's called. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, so that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I really love this shirt. If you guys can go to Urban and find it, I highly recommend it. It's so soft, like so soft. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.